All right, hey, this is uh, Marcus. Uh, I go by Bane on Discord and Fantasy Crowns. I'm the rule set developer for Old School Essentials. Uh, I built the rule set along with uh, the Jolly GM who did uh, the graphics. Um, I did the coding. So uh, this is a short video. We're gonna show you how to get Old School Essentials on Fantasy Crowns. And it's gonna start assuming you have, you've never downloaded Fantasy Crowns. So the first thing we do is we go to Google and type in Fantasy Grounds Unity there, okay? We go to the website, and uh, eventually we'll get to the website. And from the front page, we're going to go down here and find the demo, okay? We're going to download free uh, demo, okay? Uh, you don't need these versions uh, if you just want to try it out, okay? Uh, this is if you want to run games. If you run games and you buy the ultimate, you none of your players have to pay. They can all run the free demo. If you buy the standard version, then all your players have to at least have the standard version. Okay, I own the ultimate. Uh, F Fantasy Grounds gives a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So that's something to be aware of. Okay, so we're going to download for Windows. All right, just click that. It'll start downloading. And while that's doing uh, that, we're going to go here to log in and we're going to register for a new account. So, you know, you put in your birth date. <clears throat> I'm not that old, but uh, 19.4. Okay, and now you're going to fill this out. You're going to put in a username. This is going to be a username that uh, you uh, are going to be happy with. Uh, if you put something in there stupid, uh, everyone's going to see it because that is your GM name when you run Fantasy Grounds. That will also be your forum name. Anything you purchase will be linked to that name. So choose something that you are comfortable with. Choose an email that you can get to, right? If you use a Hotmail email, because you don't want spam, which you won't get spam, but uh, you know you may have trouble getting your account back. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So you complete your registration down here, you get an email, you take the email, you confirm the email, and you're done, okay? So the next thing you do is you go to your downloads, and there's an FGU web installer. You're gonna uh, click that, you're gonna execute that. Okay, now uh, when you first open Fantasy Grounds, it's going to uh, probably stick you on uh, this screen right here. I'm loading it right now. It's probably going to stick you on this screen right here, okay, um, where you have this account. All right, so you're going to put in your username and your password you just made on the Fantasy Grounds website, okay? Leave the license key blank. This is only if you buy the standard or ultimate version. You just leave it blank. It'll be demo. It's okay. And then when it's done, you're gonna click. You're gonna click save. All right. I'm gonna click cancel. All right. So we did that. We have our fantasy grounds uh, uh, settings. We can even do. We can even go to launch fantasy grounds if we want to and get this screen. But we're gonna go. We're gonna uh, not do that right now. So we have our fantasy grounds. It's installed. We go back to the fantasy grounds store. Actually, we're gonna go under my account this time. And we're going to go to Fantasy Grounds. Google's great. We're going to go, oh, look, we want to go back to here. All right, so we're going to go to Fantasy Grounds store again. All right, so we're going to go to the store, and we're going to click on the forge. All right. Um, there's a couple things we need to do on here. So Fantasy Grounds uh, Old School Essentials is on the forge. It's not on the main store. So there is a shop main store, but we're going to go to the forge, okay? Gavin's hosting this just like he does drive through RPG. I'm maintaining the rule set on here. So, so you can already see old school essentials down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, just type in old school. Uh, oh, you know what? There we go. Okay, I own it, so it's not going to show it. So you can see there's this old school essentials rule set, OSE. There's also the old school essentials SRD. So I, I'm not, uh, this is a different person. Uh, he just did it based off of my rule set. Um, it's not 100% complete, but it is free, okay? So all you do is you click on this, okay? And they're up here where it says own. There's going to be a little subscribe button. You hit subscribe. That's it. You now own the old school essentials rule set. It is 100% free, okay? So now uh, there's a couple of ways we can navigate to Gavin's page. We could go back to the home page. We can go down here and click old school essentials. If It's on the home page and it's gonna put us on Gavin's page. So right now he's got the two tomes up. I developed both of these tomes. It's basically the hardback book inside Fantasy Grounds. I reproduced the book in the reference manual. I built in every single monster record, item record, magic items, non-magic items, uh, 
special NPCs for spells are built in, right? Um, like the animal figurines got all these little crazy things that you could get. Okay, they're built in. Like everything's built in that you need, right? All the tables are automated. If, if you watch uh, uh, my uh, OSC videos, you might be able to see it. But like you can click a button and it'll generate a treasure table eight in a parcel with all the magic items and the gems and the money and all that. So it's great. Okay, so what you do is you go to these. Uh, we'll go to the player's tome. Uh, these are going to cost uh, 1,500 uh, gold, okay? So you have to actually buy gold from the treasury here. So you're going to go and, uh, you know, f uh, 1,500 gold is going to be $15, okay? You could buy it. Uh, you could just put in 1,500 right here. Whoops. Right? And it's uh, not that much. And it's 15 bucks, right? So you buy gold. You want to buy 30 gold, right, if you want to get both of Gavin's uh, books on here. And then you're going to go and you're just going to click buy, Okay. And then we'll go after we buy that one. We're going to go to the referee's tome, and we're going to buy that one. All right, that's if you want to buy them, right, after you've tried it out for free, okay? Now, let me be clear. There's 30 days money-back guarantee on this, right? Fantasy Grounds will refund this money, uh, no questions asked. So there's really no reason not to check it out, right? All you have to do is email Fantasy Grounds, right, and they will take care of it. Okay, so once you get those things downloaded, you go back to Fantasy Grounds, all right? You're going to go check for updates, and it's going to run through this thing. Okay, now what it's going to do is it's going to check your Forge subscriptions, and it's going to subscribe or check find the things that you subscribed, and it's going to uh, download those things. Okay, um, it's going to update something. It's probably updating my own rule set because I pushed a little update today. Um, my internet's not behaving. Look how slow that is. It's horrible. All right, so now. We got through that, right? So now, now the tomes got both up, both got updated. Uh, the rule set got updated, and if you got the SRD, it got updated. So what you do is, you go to load campaign. Actually, go to create campaign, and we're going to go down here, and we're going to click on this one. This is OSE2. I'm sorry it doesn't say old school essentials. Uh, when we first started coding this, it was the second version of OSE, and then. Uh, it's too late to change it, <laughs> change it now. Okay, so we're going to load OSC2, and then we're going to type in, we're just going to type in old school essentials. You can name it whatever you want. Oh, it doesn't like that. I already have one. We'll just call it old school. Okay, we can name it whatever we want. We'll go cloud, or we'll go to LAN. Um, I don't, if you have the demo, it's, I don't think it's going to let you go to that. Now, there's some extensions over here. There's some themes you probably have that are FG Dark, FG Light. I bought the FG Winter. FG Winter looks really good with old school essentials, but uh, for now, you just don't load any of those, okay? So you select OST, you give it a name, you go LAN, and you go start. Okay, now, uh, once we get into the game, uh, I'll show you how to load the modules real quick, and I think we'll end the video here. All right, so we're in the game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load the books we bought. All right, so we're going to go to modules, and you can see I have a lot of stuff in here because we're developing a lot of stuff for Old School Essentials. Um, I even have some basic modules in here that I developed for the store that uh, once you get more advanced into Fantasy Grounds, uh, we could tell you how to pull those into your Old School Essentials rule set and play some of the original basic modules. But for now, we're going to load the Advanced Player's Tome. And we're going to load the referee's tome. And you can see the book opens when you do that. Okay, now they're both in the game, right? So now if I want to read the book, I can just open the reference manual here. And there's the cover, and I can just go through the book. You know, it's got all the images, it's got everything, all that stuff, right? I just reproduced the book. And if you want to load up, you go to the sidebar, select all. And you can see all the class records are built in here for all the advanced classes. All the race records are built in here for all the advanced races. There's eight pages of items pre-built, ready to go. You take this sword, you drop it on your character sheet, you equip it, and you're ready to roll a plus one short sword. All right? Um, and all the monsters. There's nine pages of monsters in here ready to go. Even I even broke down the like the ank eggs for each hit dice. So you'll see that for every single monster that has multiple hit dice, they're broken down. So anyways, I, I hope you tried this out. Uh, uh, there's a lot of work has been put into this uh, uh, by a lot of the developers, but uh, most definitely by me. And uh, appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.